Today on Bumpy Road Brews from Bellflower Brewing out of Portland, Maine, I have their Folk Magic IPA with honey. Comes in at 7.6% ABV. And uh, yeah, that's the label art. Uh, there's no canned on date, at least not on the bottom. I'm not sure if they'd place it anywhere else. Uh, Canned with Love by Bellflower Brewing Company in Portland, Maine. Bellflower is dedicated to offering thoughtful beers brewed with local ingredients. You can follow them on... Uh, follow us at Bellflower Beer. I, I don't know if that's like on Twitter or if that's like a dot .com thing, but... Uh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and crack this one open. <laughs> okay, so the head on this is a very white, uh, frothy-esque head. The color of the beer itself, it's, it's a very dull yellow. It's milky. This is kind of that potato-esque beer. Let me get the light off this for a second. Maybe it will... actually looks even better without the uh, light directly on me maybe <laughs> so there you go uh yeah it's not as yellow as my shirt it's not as yellow as the can i don't have any other rhymes to go with that uh but yeah it's uh, uh kind of potato-esque let's get some aromas super citrusy from afar Sense like a lot of orange, kind of grapefruit. Let's get closer. Yeah, orange, grapefruit type nose. A little bit of something else that I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe a little floral. All right, let's dive on in here for the first swig. So, cheers. All right, so this is a fizzy, wet beer. This is not a smooth uh, mouthfeel. Uh, the body on it feels to be right in the medium realm, and the uh, carbonation is is moderately, it's moderately, moderately carbonated. Yeah, it's uh, got some grapefruit type notes um, there's a, a, a slight breadiness with a little bit of a sweetness uh, honey is 100% fermentable so I don't know when exactly they put the honey in but I mean there is a kind of a, a sweetness to it so it could very well be honey um, a little bit citrusy with that kind of grapefruit flavor right up front uh, Maybe a little bit floral. Yeah, I think it's more of a floralness to it than there would be like a lychee. Um, a little bit of a kind of bread notes uh, come through in the on the finish there. Bitterness on this one. I mean, it's not super bitter. Uh, and the bitterness that is there seems to be... Uh, It's, it's kind of, a, I'd say, floral, like a floral bitterness with uh, maybe a little bit of like a zest, like an orange zest. 7.6%, I think I said the ABV correct at the beginning. I hope I did anyways. 7.6%, um, yeah, I mean, this is rinks like right around that, 7.5%, um, there's no alcohol. Uh, be found it's pretty decent uh, pretty decent brew I'm enjoying it uh, I'd say this one is uh, is top end very good uh, I recommend if you 
ever find anything from Bellflower, uh, just give them a give them a try. I think they uh, make some exceptionally good beers. I believe that they're kind of like a farmhouse type thing. Uh, I, I looked them up before when I first first had their uh, their beers, and uh, I believe they're like a like a farmhouse type thing. That's why they, they use like local ingredients and stuff. A lot of their beers are under eight percent as well, so lighter lighter IPAs and. Sure, they do other things other than IPAs too. I just don't think I, I have picked them up. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, finding more more stuff from them. And uh, yeah, cheers! Thank you all for watching.